Hey YouTube, my name is Andrew Davis from Peculiar Sawdust. Today I'm going to show you the strength of wood glue. Alright, I got my clamps set up. We're going to glue these two pieces of wood together right here on the sides. This is just regular pine. These are a couple of pieces of scrap. We're going to use regular wood glue, which is Type Bond 2. You can use Elmer's, Gorilla Glue, whatever. I've even seen recipes to make your own wood glue. That's not the point. The point is, this is just regular wood glue. It's not super glue or anything like that. Regular wood glue. What we're going to do is we're just going to apply it on one side. Not both sides. I think that's a little excessive if you do it on both sides. I suppose you could. But you see, you just draw a bead down there. I'm going to smooth it all around with my finger. You do like this. Da -da -da. You don't have to get it all over every place, although the more surface area you have glue on, the better it's going to adhere. Duh. You got it on there. You got it smoothed out. We're just going to mate them up. And then tighten up the clamps. Spread those out a little bit more. There we go. Now you don't have to apply a lot of pressure. I probably apply more pressure to them than I need to. The fact is you just got to get them to smash together. You want looking for a little bit of squeeze out. That's these little bubbles of glue pressing out. That means you got good contact. All right guys, it's been about 45 minutes. That glue drying. Uh, you should give it about an hour, but 45 minutes is more than enough for it to set up plenty hard. So we take that out. Set our aside here. Let's see how strong it is. See, it's still got that squeeze out there. It is not coming apart. It is stuck together. Let's see if we can't break it. Let's clamp it down and hit it with a hammer. Found my hammer. All right, regular hammer. Let's break it. And I will show you that there is no metal, there's no nails, there's no biscuits or anything like that in there. It's just a regular butt joint. Ha! I said butt. Ready? Look at that. The glue joint didn't even break. Pretty much what I thought was going to happen. The wood breaks before the glue. Why is that? That is because the wood is weaker than the glue. The glue dries and hardens so much that it is harder than the wood. Good Lord. You see those dents I was making in it? Look at that. I broke it off on either side. Look at those gouges from the hammer I was putting in there. It is not coming apart. Now I'm going to prove to you that there really is no fasteners in here. Even though you saw me glue it up. Oh, it's a camera trick. It's a... This. No, it's not a camera trick. Okay, so I'm going to take my crummy pliers and a universal wrench and break it off. Look at that. There's no nails or biscuits. That's still wet. That glue didn't even dry all the way. That was only part of the glue. And it was that hard. And it's still breaking the wood off. Wood glue is stronger than wood. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just trying to show you how strong the wood glue really is. It's more than strong enough. You don't need to run in pocket hole screws. You don't need to run in screws through the ends. 
You don't need to do the dovetails and the box joints and the uh, any number of joinery that you can do in wood. You don't need to do that to have a strong joint. But if you want to, it's prettier. That's why I do those kinds of things. They're it's pretty, it's nice to look at. But as far as strength goes, glue it together. It's fine. It's more than strong enough. You'll be fine. All right. Again, this is Andrew from Peculiar Sawdust. Happy sawdust. Check out Peculiar Sawdust on Facebook.